Hi, I'm Angie Reinwald, the Compliance Manager with Pacific Residential Mortgage. Buying or refinancing a home can be an exciting and overwhelming time. Today, I want to talk to you about how to alleviate a stressful situation that could potentially throw this process off and cause you to lose that new home you are looking forward to obtaining. Wire fraud is an ongoing issue in the mortgage industry where hackers are stealing hundreds of thousands of dollars. They do this by sending an email to an unsuspecting consumer to establish a relationship with them. This spoofed email will appear to be from your loan officer, realtor, or escrow officer. The email will contain the letterhead and email signature of those individuals. They will have wire instructions with a sense of urgency telling you that something has changed in the transaction and they need you to alter your previously given instructions and send the money to a new address. Banks are aware of this situation and are watching for it, but they don't always stop the wire from being sent because the account the funds are being sent to is a valid account. Once the money is sent, it will disappear in minutes, sometimes even seconds. Some things to watch for are timeline changes in your transaction, inconsistencies in the email like typos, missing information, or changes to the information you were previously given. Phone numbers and contact information could also be altered. You will want to ensure that you call a phone number that was previously given to you by the escrow officer directly, your realtor, or your loan officer. Listen to your gut. If you feel suspicious, stop and verify. This can happen to anyone. We'll now have an example of a situation that occurred where a consumer lost a home due to wire fraud. I'm Dori Davis, a Pacific Residential Mortgage Valuation Manager, and I will admit that I did not take uh, mortgage wire fraud very seriously until recently I was out with an appraiser trainee um, on an inspection and we were sort of asked to do a rush um, on this appraisal and so we were asking some questions about what happened we found out that there was a transaction that had fallen through so we were um, asking how how that happened we found out that um, the buyers um, mistakenly transferred their $30,000 down payment to a fraudulent wire transfer um, uh, account and they were out that money. The money was gone. It's in some offshore account now, probably. And uh, it was heartbreaking because those uh, it was an entry-level home in Salem. Folks certainly could not have uh, been able to afford another $30,000 down payment. So not only were they out their down payment, but they were out the home that they were trying to buy. I'm um, not sure what happened to them, but um, it is a, it's a heartbreaking story and it, it hit closer to home than I ever imagined. Here are some ways to protect yourself. Verify the closing instructions with a phone call or in person with your escrow officer or title agent before you send the funds. Never respond to an email request where it states that the instructions have changed and always be on the lookout for anything suspicious. Although largely unknown to the general public, the FBI does offer a fund recovery process if certain requirements are met. The fraudulent transfer needs to be caught within 72 hours. The transaction would need to be made internationally. The amount would have to exceed $50,000 and the bank would need to issue the recall notice. Here at Pacific Residential Mortgage, we are here to protect you. So please reach out to your mortgage advisor with any specific questions you have.